experience to me, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, it's it's very useful. It's very I always uh, have some good education and uh, a lot of things I learn uh, from our all members of this platform. And uh, yesterday I feel very good uh, I, when uh, Saras sir. Uh, because yesterday Sarasthi sir uh, available in this platform and uh, one thing I also want to say that that uh, <coughs> see yesterday's topic is so good because uh, we all have uh, some kind of um, fear, so and that is the reason we all are uh, not doing best of our thinking. So that uh, the stated topic is also good. I feel so glad. No. No, Hello, sir. How are you all? Good. How is Vivek doing? Good. Uh, uh, I... Very nice. Yes, sir. I am doing. So... Yeah, go ahead. So attend attendance is normally low in the morning. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah, it will be like this because morning time is too early for people to get up there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because uh, normally the professional people, they go to like nine o'clock in the office, something like that, right? So, so only a few people get up at six. And uh, so that's why you have a little bit of difficulty in getting more people to come to this session. So Vivekji, what's new? Tell us something new. Oh, okay. Yeah, tell us something about that. How many people came last night? Wow. So, so maybe then we will have to focus just on the night meeting, you know, because it's too much for you guys to do two meetings. I mean, think about it. If you can do it, fine. But if attendance is only like one person or two person like this, <laughs> Then you have to evaluate. All right, here comes the surrender G now, so that's good. Namaste, sir. Namaste, namaste. Good morning, Super Good morning, sir. Yeah, I, yeah, you told me that he walks this time, right? So that's good. At least, uh, you know, few of you are dedicated in Brahmohurt. Yeah.
maybe maybe you guys can uh, uh, recite a sloka and tell the meaning in English. Sloka. Any sloka, since it is the Brahmahut time, uh, you know, from anything you remember, everybody should remember at least your slokas. And then explain that sloka in English. <laughs> Just I'm making up a topic for the day. <laughs> yes, yes, I was studying Sanskrit in a fifth class, but after then, uh, uh, no, forget it. Not, but uh, uh, sloka is. I, I know a lot of slokas, but uh, uh, I can't explain in English the slokas. So, I, I tell you how, what is happening in the West. I, you know, every Tuesday before before this meeting, I I go to a Sanskrit Vyakaran class, which is taught by our uh, temple here uh, in English, and there are people not only from USA, but from Australia, from England, from Costa Rica, you name it. I mean, today I learned that uh, there were three people, four people who were, uh, we had a time change uh, a couple of days back last Sunday. So, so what happened is that because of the time change, uh, we considered it that, uh, you know, everybody knows, but uh, probably it was not announced by the temple organizers so uh, so they um you know they sort to the old time and what happened is because of old time time had changed so they were late by half an hour today in the class <laughs> so they were complaining that how come we didn't know and then there were four of them one two were from australia one from costa rica and one from uh, uh, somewhere in the London area, like UK, Scotland, or someplace. And then, of course, you have people here, a lot of uh, Americans who come to the class locally here from United States. So the point I'm trying to make is that you know, while we are trying to, uh, uh, what should I say, uh, uh, not pay serious attention to Sanskrit. In the other part of the world, intellectual group especially, they are all retirees, professionals of different kinds. These all people, these are all white people, you know, or some most of them are retirees just like me. But uh, uh, they get interested, and now they're trying to learn Sanskrit background, like they have started learning from alphabet. Uh, in this class, they teach from what is alphabet, swar uh, benjan, and from there the class has started. Right now. They are teaching uh, how to do sandhi. So since, like you know, you and I have background in Sanskrit in high school, so I understand what's going on. But but many of them, this is a very challenging class because they have yeah. never <laughs> imagine. Just like if we have to go to a French class and then they ask about their way of doing sandhi and all that, it will be how much challenging it is for them. So yes. Yeah. So Sanskrit is very, very good language to learn. I would encourage everybody to teach your kids at least like here and there, a few slokas, few things. Uh, everybody should know Gayatri month. And uh, today, today, uh, uh, I mean, today she was explaining the meaning of the Gayatri month and uh, it was amazing. Maybe you guys first talk, then maybe later on I'll I'll tell you about what I learned about the Gayatri month right today. Yeah, I, I chanting Gayatri month. I chanting Gayatri mantra actually. Good. On not on daily basis, not on daily basis. Uh, as uh, I am in childhood, I chanting the Gayatri mantra on daily basis. Uh, but uh, 
महामृत्युंजय मंत्र लाइक देवी दुर्गा मंत्र नो नो हेलो अमरनाथ सर कैन आई से पब्लिकली गायत्री मंत्र यस यू कैन बिकॉज़ स्पेशली राइट नाउ एवरीबॉडी एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग ओके सो देयर इज नॉट अ सिंगल पर्सन एक्चुअली एक्चुअली नॉट ऑल ऑफ अस एक्चुअली हां गो हेड एक्चुअली ऑल ऑफ अस ओम ओम ब्राह्मण पर्सन होल्ड जेनऊ शुड हेलो सॉरी and now okay 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 am i audible okay now oh okay so now it means it was hamza ji's telephone then so so what uh, what i was saying is that uh, you know the definition of brahman chhatri vaishya and sudra first came into uh, early vedic period the vedic period is also classed into two part one is the early vedic period when basically uh, uh, aryans started populating what is now afghanistan and pakistan and that is where all these vedic mantras and everything were that is the rigveda period so rigveda was uh, completely done outside of india by modern um, uh, geographical uh, uh, whatever we have the boundary uh, of course ancient boundary was um, every uh, afghanistan was part of india because that time we were a small small villages and kingdom and we were expanding so uh, as per historical account uh, of the vedas the aryans were kind of settling down they were not yet a big big cities or town they were just like the villages and and, and small villages and small villages they had uh, pretty much um, uh, as they grew up they organized themselves in this four group some people had to take care of uh, it was not there was no king at all uh, so some people had to take care of defense some people had to take care of whatever the priestly thing was happening man chanting of the mantras and all those kind of stuff and uh, some people had to do cultivation and some people have to do the ordinary work so it was not on the it was just a family just it was a small call it a cooperative farm which they had to run and uh, they had distributed their work so uh, in that period it was flexible com- completely if really you had interest in the 
study matters, then, you know, right from the beginning, uh, people would see that you like to do more of a uh, studies and Vedas and all that. So then they say, hey, uh, you should go to Parsala to learn uh, with the gurus more of that kind of stuff. So it was more that it was a small population. They could easily figure it out uh, and they would mentor them to be in the right direction for the if somebody is completely not interested in studies, what is the point in sending him to Parsala? So, so that's how it came. And then uh, the, by definition, that is the point I was trying to make, that all the Brahmins by definition was expected to learn the Vedas, uh, which means that time it was only Rig Vedas. And then you continue with the Rig Veda, uh, everybody has to uh, you know, chant. So if you go by the classical definition of the Brahmins of that period, everybody was expected to be learned in the Vedas. You cannot be, uh, uh, a, you cannot be called a Brahmin. It's like, uh, you know, you cannot be called a doctor if you don't know how to do the medicine. So Brahman was more of a professional title. It was not like uh, what we call it now. It has, it has, it, it, we have completely, uh, what you call, um, destroyed the original definition of it. So that is the early Vedic part uh, when the Aryans were settling down in Afghanistan and Pakistan. And that's why that area is called Sapt Sindhu. Uh, for, uh, there are five rivers of Punjab, uh, uh, Sindh and Saraswati. So all together they are called Sapt Sindhu River. And that's where the whole thing happened, initial one. And then it expanded to India. And then the other Vedas portion were written, written up. So uh, uh, Gayatri Mantra is one of the mantras coming from the, that period. And do you know who, who gets credit for this mantra? Who wrote this mantra? Or who, who got it in their, uh, who, who revealed, uh, uh, who got this in their revelation? It is Rishi Vishwamitra. So Viswamitra gets the credit for this mantra. Credit for this mantra. Okay. And, uh, and, and then, and then uh, me, the, meaning the meaning of this one is... This before uh, the, this mantra is mainly dedicated to God Surja. Now you can ask that, why God Surja? Why not Brahma, Vishnu Mahesh, or why not Brahma? So again, the reason is that if you go to the history of the early Vedic period, uh, these Brahma, Vishnu Mahesh concept, all like Bra Mahesh is mentioned only a few times. Vishnu is mentioned only a few times. That time the Aryans, our forefather, they were worshiping mainly the material gods, like elemental god, like Chiti, Jal, Pabak, Gagan, Samira, and all the planetary important ones. So like, uh, so Indra was the main god, uh, Indra, Barun, Agni, Surj, uh, Prithvi, um, like that. Uh, so basically it was, it was not the, uh, uh, what you call is that uh, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, like we worship it right now, and their families like Ganesha and all that, they come later part. And I still don't know, uh, well, I mean, I'm learning gradually, so I cannot tell you about that one, how they got introduced. But there are, uh, but the two things which is important is that this mantra uh, is, I, I, I had a question for many, many times, why this mantra is not directed to Brahma, because in our Hindu scriptures, we all ultimately worship to Brahma. And so I was expecting, I had always this question. Uh, then finally, somebody explained to me that uh, that time when this mantra was uh, uh, given, revealed to Vishwamitraji in his meditation, you know, our society was completely worshiping the elemental God. And so uh, in this elemental world, Surja has very important place. 
because if there is no sun, he is the real sun in the whole planet system. And so, Surja, this mantra is dedicated to Surja, and through Surja, we ultimately, our, our uh, Hindu system is that everything is connected. Just like if you look at the tree from a distance, what do you see? You see a tree, right? Only one tree. But if you come closer, then you see the root, you see the, the, the branches, then you see the stems, and when you see the thousands and thousands of leaves, and maybe then you will see the major, right? This is the Amka season in India. So you will see the major flowers and later on maybe the fruits. But so they are they are one, but at the same time they are anek. So so this concept, so basically that is what you we have in the Vedas that hey, these elemental gods are important, but ultimately they all feed to all the distributaries go to one ocean or one god. And uh, and uh, so that that was the teaching, and so this mantra is dedicated to uh, uh, Bhagwan Surj, but basically the uh, meaning is the same, which we all know that uh, we meditate uh, to you, uh, give us the uh, intellect, and direct us our intellect to the right direction. So basically, this is convocation to him to uh, make me and you and all of us better. Better. That's the whole purpose of this mantra. If you guys have anything else you have learned, you tell me about it. So I think uh, uh, Yadavji had just joined. So basically, we decided I had gone to a class and I learned something about uh, uh, Gayatri Mantra. So I said that since we don't have any fixed topic, I said, see, the Brahma Muhurt, the Let's let's start with the Gayatri mantra, and that way I can I can tell you the story which I learned. Okay, okay. Uh, Vishwamitra, who has created Gayatri mantra, is also was a uh, uh, chhatriya uh, because uh, he was a king and he defeated by the uh, Rishi. Then he realized that Dhik Balam Chhatri Balam. So just he yeah. wanted to become a Brahmin and all and. After that, he became a Brahmin, and uh, he created a lot of his uh, scriptures also, and become yeah. a good yes, good Brahmin. So I mean, so I, I, I can become a Brahmin in the uh, uh, on the earth. Yeah, true. I mean that is the story. But also, uh, I, the, the, I I am still not very hundred percent sure that how can the same Viswamitra and Basist be continuing. From the Vedic is to Ramayana is, you know, because you see the same two person, very important uh, personalities during the Ramayana, right? Viswamitra and Basist. And in the Vedic, early Vedic period, uh, they are again the, these two top uh, personalities. Like that's what I learned that Viswamitra and um, Basist have the biggest contribution of mantra in in Rig Vedas, number one. So uh, historically, since there is such a huge time span from the early Vedic period to the Ramani period, uh, personally, I feel that they are different set of Viswamitra and different, uh, you know, basist what we have in the Ramayana period. But somehow they have our our achars, our uh, you know, like. Um, uh, um, what you call our, who is our Veda Vyas, since we give him credit for compiling all the ones, maybe he kind of uh, interconnected the story, right, from the Vedic period to later on Ramayana and Mahabharata period in such a way that it makes sense to common person and we feel that, oh, this is the same person there to here. That's one thing. There could also be that this is just a title. For example, you know, in the village, we call Sarpanch, right? But many Sarpanch come and go. So who knows if the Vishwamitra and um, uh, Basista were simply the title or not. Um, as per the early Vedic period, uh, what I have learned that uh, these two were very dominant and there were 10 tribes at that time. 
uh, and in the ten, uh, in the early part of the Vedic period, there were ten tribes. An important tribe where you, we have one of them, the Yadavji. There was one tribe called Yadu. Then there was another tribe called uh, Kuru. Kuru is the same like uh, all the you know um, Pandavas and Kauravas. That is that is called Kuru. So similarly, third one was Bharat tribe. Uh, Bharat tribe, like that, there are ten tribes mentioned, uh, and uh, and what happened is that as they were expanding uh, in from Afghanistan to what is now the Pakistan Punjab or our Punjab, in that area, uh, some politics happened, and because of the politics, uh, all the community, all the tribes, they had to uh, they have to go to war. So one tribe was, uh, Bharat tribe was led by Basist, and all other nine tribes were led by Diswamitra. And this is called Das Rajan War in our uh, Vedic period. Actually, in Indian historical record, this is the first recorded war. This is the very first war, which happened again somewhere in Punjab, uh, Das Rajan War. And uh, Sudas was the king of the Bharat tribe who become uh, triumphed. He won the battle. And uh, I mean, this, this, is, this, is, this is as per the Vedas and uh, you know, historical books I have, I have read. So the point I'm trying to make is that same Viswamit who is doing there doesn't make uh, and persist all the way in the Ramayana period. I have a hard time digesting it. What do you guys think? Yes, uh, of course, a lot of uh, complexity uh, are there in the scriptures, in not, in not only Hindu religions. Also, there are a lot of religions which have a lot of complexity that cannot be digested. But we have to go with them because uh, that is our uh, spiritual books, so we cannot create well, other ones. Yeah. So I mean, no. The thing is that we all have to continue to do our research. That's how our knowledge has increased, right, over the time. That so, what is the truth, right? I mean, uh, that is what is called uh, our archaeologists, our historians, uh, people with the thinking brain. If we stop thinking, we'll never. Uh, uh, what you call it, never analyze and have a true picture. Uh, uh, so we need to continue and uh, maybe we'll not get the answer. Maybe our next generation will figure it out, right? I mean, you know that there are some mathematics which has taken 400 years to solve and one kid comes on the way and he suddenly he solves it. There was one problem I was learning that uh, uh, a girl did the PhD it was her thesis, they gave her the problem that, okay, just work on that one and you solve it. And that problem has been there for 100 years. Nobody could figure it out. So um, maybe somebody, some genius will come and uh, figure out uh, who, how many different Viswamitra we had, how many different, um, you know, uh, bassist we had. Because if you look at the uh, uh, genealogy of Raja Janak, there are so many Janaks itself. Uh, like when the Ramayana happened, that also that, Krishna, sir. Also Krishna, Lord Krishna is also different in uh, our uh, Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavat and Bhagavat. There are two two texts, and Bhagavad Gita is uh, like about uh, Krishna's uh, talk. And uh, what is we are uh, celebrating every. You can hear and there every uh, uh, village there are kathas is, are going on. Uh, that is that are Bhagavat. So there are two Krishnas in also the in, in both the texts. If you are comparing, oh, I didn't know that. So, I didn't know that one. So are you saying that uh, Krishna of Mahabharat and the Krishna of uh, Srimad Bhagavatam are two different Krishnas? Yeah. yeah also, uh, <laughs> there are differences of the, their characters. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. 
So but Krishna's teaching in Bhagavat and uh, in Mahabharata parts which is uh, called that is Krishna teaching was different and what is we are uh, uh, hearing the hearing the in Kathas that is told us and uh, <coughs> there are different teachings. Once Krishna hmm. saying that uh, don't copy me, what is my I am doing, what what I am saying, uh, try to do right thing. And uh, once well, Sim Krishna is saying that uh, I came here to remove the worries in the world from the world, and uh, what I'm doing, try try to do so. So there are different teachings, and uh, I think there are some complexity when <laughs> I go to deep. So I never go went there. That is why. Okay. Very nice. All right, so <laughs> here we go. We did our morning prayer to Lord, <laughs> all kind of lords today. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so uh, anybody else want to pick any Brahma Muhurt topic uh, to talk about? Yeah, hello, Glory sir. Yours. How are you, sir? After a long time, I joined morning session, <laughs> but I learn a lot about uh, you know uh, Vedas and mantras so thank you so much amarnath sir and hello oh, sir, so, sir so, near those so i think i have seen you very first time so maybe you used to come before before i started joining it is that so tell us a little bit about yourself since i don't know you aha uh -huh. okay good yeah yeah, so uh, I think, uh, tell us a little bit about, just a short, a brief, uh, a brief uh, introduction about yourself so that I know who you are. Because if yeah, you are sure. coming to the morning session, means you are dedicated. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Nirdosh Yadav. I am from uh, Bihar. And last 10 years, I have been living in uh, Mumbai. Due to job and my hobbies are traveling and reading book and learning new things i i am a i am a uh, like a, i am a student i learn uh, trading so that's it sir okay so basically what is your field of uh, like uh, uh, trading in the, that industry you are working or uh, i mean basically just general profession or professional field like for example i'm an engineer so that's what I want to know, accountant, business, what, is, what do you call, consider your professional field, teaching yeah, trading, or whatever? Trading is like, sir, uh, Indian stock market. Uh-huh, okay. So, oh, yeah. I see, okay, that, okay. So stock market is your passion, good, okay. Yes. So you heard the bank failed, couple of bank, American banks, you knew about that, right? I, yeah. Yes, it, uh, it is very serious news that is going to harm, uh, I think, every part of the Dow, world. Dow Jones respond very bad. Uh, Dow Jones is like a, uh, American market. And yeah. Last two days, their, uh, their you know, uh, chart is very negative. Yeah, so, I mean, today, stock market recovered uh, because government uh, came into uh, regulators, uh, uh, in fact, the President Biden, he already himself spoke. See, this is what I see the difference. Here, all the major issues happen. President come forward and he talks. Similarly, if there is a state level issue, there will be a press conference and the head of the, you know, things will uh, talk and answer questions. So, uh, uh, and uh, he said that you know, we are going to regulate it further. Basically, what has happened is that these, I don't know how much you guys know about um, these two banks. This is this is the Silicon Valley Bank, which is uh, mainly works in California. And mainly they were, this bank was the bank for, say, startup company, venture capitalist. 
so so if you so venture capitalist is another group of the risk takers you can call it that they spend money or they loan money uh, 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 hoping to get a huge return and uh, and so they take chances and the normally this happens is that you know out of the 100 company they support maybe they will uh, be successful 20 30 company will be successful another 70 would fail so basically they would lose the money in 70 companies and 30 companies they will make enough money to recover everything which they have lost plus profit so that is the model and and uh, <clears throat> and so this bank was catering to this group of people who are more into this one so uh, like uh, like one of the indian top venture capitalists raj khosla i'm sure uh, probably he might have been affect been affected not the common people like you and me because uh, uh, here the federal uh, insurance is up to $250,000. So if you have $250,000 or less in the account, you don't need to worry about it. You know, you, your money is safe. You can withdraw it. And uh, as an individual, only few people. So uh, individuals were not impacted at all. Uh, it is only the big players. And, uh, and and government, uh, what government came forward is that, uh, uh, okay, so uh, I think um, now today that they were, banks were open, they were closed on Monday, that bank, those banks which were impacted. And they said that, uh, well, uh, those of you who have a huge money in the bank, like above 250,000, uh, you will get your money but we are going to, you'll have to wait a little bit. We are going to do all the evaluations, see what happened and all that. You get a kind of credit check or something that yes, your money is there. You have not lost your money, but we want to uh, evaluate uh, and see how much money this bank had uh, in the cash, how much, uh, what are the different level of uh, debt? How can it be restructure? All those kind of things. So that's what the regulators are doing it right now. But it seems that fear uh, factor has kind of a little bit reduced today. And that's why market was up in, in the US today. Uh, all the markets were a little bit up. And uh, in fact, a pretty good recovery was today. So that is what is, but the, the thing is that um, the impact it will have is at the other places because now the in other countries i heard like i was listening about china in the cnbc news that uh, and i'm sure that will happen to india because venture capitalism is a new thing in india it has been popular only last like 10 15 years now so they will be scared to loan give loan to the you know companies who they would they would be just like a regular bank that okay Give me the guarantee that you are going to be successful in your product making or whatever you are making. And that defeats the purpose of the venture capitalism. So then, it, uh, then you know, if they don't give the loan, uh, people will have no financial sources. Right now, like the people were, if you, are a, if you have an idea, you say that I have this idea, I'm going to make it happen. You just give me the money. That is my problem right now. So then venture capital says, well, I'll give you the money. You, if I'm convinced, so convince me, fine. You convince him, convince him. And then they say, okay, I'll give you money on one condition that if you become successful, your product will be successful, I will own 50% of the company and you own only 50%. So suppose I'm a engineer or I'm a, I'm a person who is going for venture capital, I'll say, fine it's always better to have 50% than 0%. So I'll take that. And because I know that I have a guarantees now investment uh, uh, money coming from, so I can, the way I want to do the development work, all those supply chain, setting up everything, quality, blah, 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 everything, whatever I need to do, I can do. I have a money source coming in. So, uh, uh, but now, uh, people will be, if the venture capitalists are a little bit scared, then they will not forward the loans. So I think that is what will impact India because we are, 
we Indians are not that uh, risk taker. <laughs> so what is your thought on this? What do you guys think about it? Anybody? Sister, yeah, we are sir. living in globalized era. So everyone would be affected by this. Uh, if if uh, that bank. Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, you know, I think. Because uh, we are interconnected to each other. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, who would be the great expert <laughs> on this one? Uh, 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 in the evening meeting, uh, is he coming? My friend, uh, what is his name? Uh, Singhji, is he there? Coming? Yes. Ah, yes. I like this is his. This is his field. He's a banking guy. So <laughs> he will give you the big uh, overview of this whole thing. That would be. Uh, this is. Uh, yeah. Also, so. Also, sir, I mean, I... Also, I heard a lecture uh, that was going on on YouTube channel by Ankit yeah. Avasti sir. That, uh, he was explaining. He was explaining explaining that uh, also India have to suffer for that yes. because uh, Indian companies was also got financial support for, from that bank. If if that yeah. bank's uh, share share is decreasing, then also the uh, like Paytm also re received uh, money from that bank also Silicon Valley. Yeah. Uh, so see, see also the... Paytm's Paytm share would be decreased. Yeah. So uh, a see, lot of companies you know, have to. You know, I mean, um, uh, many of you um, probably you know, the, you know how the how the insurance company make money. Insurance company, what they do is that. You know, the, when they insure you and me and all of us, I mean, they are taking so much risk, right? But what they do, they also take insurance on all of us. Okay, so they write insurance for our life insurance, but they have also taken insurance internally on all of us. And because of that, if something happens, they get paid first from um, another agency. So, I mean, I don't know the whole, uh, they have their supply chain in the insurance industry. So that's why they are also covered. They are covered and then they are taking like a small, uh, uh, what you call the middleman bank. They are giving us the life insurance or whatever we want. So they are, they are guaranteed that if they have a few, several losses, unless the thousands and thousands of people die at the same time in some kind of accident or whatever, but, but if it is a normal, whatever is the normal rate of uh, 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 death, they are covered. And so same thing in the venture capitalists, it is also there is a multi-layer uh, venture capitalism going on. So there is some Kudra, Kudra type retail, uh, what you call is the venture capitalists, like who are really uh, the small companies in India or here, they deal with those kind of uh, companies. And then these companies, the first layer companies, Khudra companies, have a little bit of wholesaler type companies. And then wholesaler have another layer. So there is several layers of that interconnection. So now what will happen is that the Khudra layer who were directly, who were in the front and those who were dealing with uh, uh, all kind of companies, like when you want money, you go to them, there will be a problem there. And so, uh, and then uh, I think it will have a effect um, both ways, uh, directly to the consumers who want loan, they will not get the loan. And then um, uh, upward in the supply chain, uh, the middle layer venture capitalists uh, will be reluctant to give them the loan or they will ask too many other questions now. So this will really put a lot of a strain now.
Probably he's on another call. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I am on mute. Actually, so hello. Yes, yes. So talking time, you can. Yes, yes. Please continue. So hello. Hello. Yes, please. Sir, please. Yes, so may, maybe in next time I will like to cover uh, this topic on deeply. Actually, I have not to so. So many knowledge about the stock market, or so if I if I want if I research on this topic, I will definitely go through this. So for this time, I am really very very sorry because I don't have so much knowledge about the stock market. How how was the how banking, was the banking stock stock today? Stock today? In India, yes, in India. Banking is stock. Banking is stock. Like bank bank stock. Bank stock. Mm. So the uh, uh, we uh, actually those who see the those who see the portfolio on daily basis, he can definitely he can uh, definitely. Say that uh, and the, how the banks will be perform, how the banks profit, uh, uh, how banks works, uh, and uh, uh, what are the uh, what are the current financial status of that bank. Uh, so the person who um, who trading on daily basis, uh, who uh, who who see the a share prices of that bank on daily basis. Uh, is a, who, that person definitely tells about. Currently, I am not. Currently, I am not in that. Uh, um, currently, I am not in that position to speak about this. Sure. Sure. Sorry for that, sir. Oh no, it's oh, okay. No, it's okay. Uh, next time I will be uh, definitely uh, share my thought on this uh, if I research on this topic. Yes, but basically, but basically we, we, basically, we basically, 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 Sanjay, please mute. Sir, basically we need we we know that uh, share market is uh, those people know it's a good. But those people have no more idea regarding share market means his wealth is lost always. Yeah, that's why you know they say that don't uh, be a day trader. <laughs> that's that's why the reason I think in India, sir, maximum people denied denied access yeah, right? trading trading market. So a few people. Play or trading in share market right now. I see. Yes. Uh, so that, I know that, that uh, in India, the, I know that in India, the stock market is come uh, is uh, regulated by uh, a, a Security Exchange Board of India and Bombay uh, and Bombay Stock of India in, in India. Uh, in America, in US, uh, I think. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we we also we have also a, have a, uh, uh, like for example, uh, example Nasdaq and New York Stock Exchange. New New York Stock Exchange. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So these, these are the two, the two top, top uh, uh, places, places who have. Uh, uh, let me show you the how is the market doing if I can share it uh, my screen. Let's see if possible. How do I share my screen here? This one. Give me a second. 
present your entire screen a window or a window well how about i do the entire screen okay so if i do this i'm sharing what you guys are do you see it should be like all all of you screen. Yeah. yeah but uh now let me first this is entire screen now do you see something chart yes yes sir ah okay so this, is the, this is the 10 day chart uh of uh what i'm showing you is uh, this is uh what is this one now share market share uh, chart. Dozen, yeah so dozen industrial average this is our main stock market you see that how this uh took a nose dive for last few days three three six days so yeah two so two day one two three four five six days i think it has been five six days right it happened on what yeah so but now it is stabilizing as you can see here at the bottom that today it didn't go i was i was i was expecting that it might go down but now it is last two days at least we have two data points in engineering we call it uh, we need two data point at least so two data points is stable right now but who knows tomorrow will be i mean next two days will be the uh, real test see how it's going let's see here also i wanted to show you uh, if i can uh, indicators here let's see here what else i have here uh, there are so of them here uh okay if i do this here does it show anything stop oh what is this one i picked this is bb this is i don't know what is that one forget about that i want to cancel this uh let's see here Uh, so many different indexes. Uh, oh, that was the Bol Bollinger Band. Uh, I don't know how to interpret that one. Okay. This one I know, CBOEX. Let's see how is that doing today. Okay. So this, the bottom one is, you know, the market, it goes up and down. And then when the news like this comes, suddenly the vol volatility, I think that's what they call it. So it is the index of that. How the sir. yeah, how is the sentiment going up and down? So you can see how it was stable, and then last three four days, as this happened, uh, people started panicking. So this tells you that this is um, uh, last two three four days has getting has been elevated, and now it has started. People are kind of calming down now. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, yeah, in the West, basically, nobody has land here, you know. Every money people have, that is all directly or indirectly in the stock market. What you do, you're all re retirement funds. They are also tied to different kind of uh, stocks through all the retiree, uh, what you call retirement management companies. Similarly, your personal retirement fund is also same way uh, tied to the stock market. So everything is stock bond, um, municipal bond. Basically, you cannot uh, uh, you cannot go and uh, buy a farmland like we do in India. And <laughs> I say, forget about, forget about. Yes, sir, <laughs> yes, Amana, yes, sir. Yes. Amana, sir, you also trade uh, in a stock market. I do, of I course. Do, of course. Uh, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. And I do and trade, I do trade but, uh, but I don't do, I don't like do daily basis. Daily basis. Okay. Uh, but if, but like, if, I said, like I said, everybody is everybody is retirement money is money. Right. Yes, sir. So so you have no choice. Even if you don't trade yourself directly, the for example, uh, you know, uh, let me show you some things like how it happens, like. Um, so mutual funds i mean what is mutual funds basically they are the same 
you are not you buy what do you do as an individual uh, you and i we go we don't want to trade every day so we buy a mutual fund but what is mutual fund those are the companies who are uh, basically trading on your behalf they have all shares so depending on like you know you can be a growth if you buy a mutual fund about the growth companies then uh, you will have in that growth company those mutual funds will be i mean uh, there are so many companies who who issue the mutual funds uh, and then you can you can buy uh, you can you can select the growth fund and then you can see their performance in the last 3 5 years and then you can decide okay whatever it is but you are done now you bought the mutual fund you are happy that you bought it one time now you are not doing anything but those companies whose uh, mutual funds say for example fidelity i normally trade on fidelity anything i buy so they will be buying and trading hold along they are they are engineers they are things so so everybody directly or indirectly <laughs> are involved in the trade here you only only people who are like young who just come from india to us <laughs> first 5 years you don't have any money to trade <laughs> but as as you start working and then you know start uh, putting money in your retirement funds suddenly you become aware of the stock market i didn't know anything about stock market first uh, i would say like 10 years in this country uh, but then uh, i had to little bit to start uh, knowing about it because my retirement here is called a 401k so uh, there are different names or individual retirement ira i don't know why you call ira but that's what it is so there are different types of retirement uh, um, uh, where you can uh, contribute and your money will be growing but sometimes uh, uh, things don't go this way like uh, i have seen the crash the 2000 then the i we saw the big crash in 2008 that is where that was also led by banking uh, 2000 was led by dot coms there were so many dot companies and venture capitalists that was the um, uh, you know they become belly up because they had started so many small companies and then suddenly uh, they were all paper companies or whatever happened and many many company collapsed in uh, 2000 and then next happened in 2008 and then there were a uh, calm period and suddenly now again uh, this year is now in the big news about uh, financial issues so this is what happens uh but um, yeah so this is this is how everybody if you uh, uh, i mean if you come to the western country same thing in europe because here keep in mind that uh, here only uh, maybe 10% of the population depend on farming everybody else is going to offices like you and me and then we are working in the office or factory or hospital but everybody has a uh, retirement uh, plan going on where companies put certain percentages and then you contribute yourself for the old age retirement so uh, i mean Uh, that is the only saving mostly people have there is no huge saving in this country you would be surprised that people are not a saver in this country they depend on credit card and uh, they know that they can get a job so they are happy but they put uh, they are at uh, the only <laughs> reason people are putting money in a uh, retirement fund because they are forced to do that <laughs> government you know they forced to you in such a way taxation and all that that um, otherwise uh, people uh, would not uh, put the money in the retirement and uh, let imagine what would happen when you become like 65 70 years old uh, when you cannot work and you don't have any income and uh, you know there is no retirement fund so i think um, uh, this is a smart country they have figured it out and uh, they have made the rules that everybody is forced to put their money in retirement there is no choice you have to do that you otherwise government will almost take the same money from you as a tax either you put the money in retirement fund or or pay 
pay it to the government for tax. Which one you would like to do? <laughs> that's a good sir. Um, to boost their economy, that's a bad, uh, very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah that, that is a thought. That's that, that, by America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the people, sir? everybody just put the money because they say, oh, I have, I have a tax saving. Otherwise, I have to pay everything to the government as a tax. So what is the point? Why should I do that? So I say, okay, then go and save in the retirement fund. Sir, so, how was the risk? Uh, uh, how, uh, how was the, the the risk you take uh, in that stock market, sir? Is that uh, completely risk free, or uh, there are may risk some risk? Well, so so you see the uh, the the. Let's see here. I think I wanted to show you. Let's go to the since you guys are seeing it. Research. Let me go to. This is my fidelity screen here, so I'll share with you. Okay, so do you see this here? I have put a tab here. Yes, see sir. That? Okay. Daily dashboard, stock yeah. ETF. Okay, so let's see what are the things you can do. So a stock is one thing. You can do that one. Then uh, let's see here. A stock. The Mutual second thing fund. is ETF. Have you heard of yes. ETF? No, sir. I am okay. not any. Okay, so for example, there is a symbol called XLF. Uh, that is a symbol. So what they do, there are um, um, there are company like Fidelity is a huge company. Similarly, it can be like Charles Schwab or can be anybody. Almost all the major banks, or Chase banks, what they have done, they have divided the American industry into nine or ten different categories. So like one is called industrial. So industrial means like Honeywell or uh, or like, uh, you know, those Caterpillar you see in India, those industrial companies, those car, auto, they will be part of industrial. Similarly, there will be one called the, for the banks. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, I think, uh, let me see if I can find that one here. Market, where is that information? Economic calendar, third party resources. Let me just show you here because I might have it here, uh, some of them. So let's see here. So for example here, VIX, I showed you what it is. Uh, and, um, uh xlk this is the this xlk symbol is uh, uh like that um uh, it is for technology company like intel ibm uh, google they are all part of this so if you don't want to trade anything what you do is you buy xlk and same thing is qqq you know uh but what you are buying is basically you are not trading yourself but these guys ETF guys are trading for you. So, so that's how ETF works. Uh, now, of course, you can you can do the individual bank. For example, uh, if I put uh, JPM, this is JP Morgan and Chase. This is one of the biggest bank in USA right now. So let me clear the other things for now. Sir, so JP Morgan is the investment bank, no, sir? No, they, are, they do all kinds of things. So uh, only thing is that here uh, banks are not allowed to do the insurance. So insurance is a separate uh, thing, okay? But um, uh, but other than that, uh, let's do here one year. So now here is the J.P. Morgan Chase and uh, J.P. Morgan Chase. And have you guys put the? Have you heard of Bollinger Curve? So that was a mathematician, a statistician. He came up with this Bollinger curve. So he kind of, uh, you know, uh, based on the past performance of the company, how it has been doing, he gives you a band. He tells you that the stock will pretty much uh, be in this band. Okay. So based on that, you can predict here uh, how it's going to be. Uh, in, the, in so. I mean, we don't use as an individual, but uh, you know, 
the big companies they have they do a lot of mathematical modeling they they figure it out how to use these kind of things i'm just giving you the idea what it is since i have i had known about this curve okay so here is the we just discussed about volatility and then here is your uh, jp morgan bank and if i do it only for 10 days this is for one year chart let's see how is the last 10 days doing okay hold on here i don't want daily like one minute so that you can be in chart form so you see this maybe i should take this curve out okay since i already explained to you purpose is gone so let's uh, delete okay so now you see here is the bank performance for last few days like i have put the put uh up 10 10 day chart so here it is see that this is this is the period last uh, four five days one two uh three four yeah five days and you know what is this black and white you know what period can you, anybody explain what is that any idea no sir black and white no idea sir so you see the band here like okay this is black for a while and then white okay so very simple so uh the stock market in this country goes from nine o'clock to four o'clock so so what you see is the area from nine to four okay now in the evening after four o'clock you can still trade but it is all fixed price you cannot have like, uh, you know, you can put a order or buy order or sell order, but you have to put a fixed price for that one. Uh, you cannot put the market order because that will not work because there is no market at that time. Uh, and so that goes until four to eight o'clock in the evening. And, uh, and in the morning, again, uh, the normal market begins at nine o'clock. This white begins at nine, but you can start trading from seven o'clock, so seven to nine, two hours you can do the trading in the morning. Uh, and uh, so basically this is the black area is mainly the veterans or you can call it those uh, companies who are who have expertise. They can, they have done all of calculations and they figure, they figure it out how the day is going to be. And then based on that, uh, you know, uh they take the risk of buying or selling whatever they do i mean there are some buyers and there are some sellers so you can see that uh, uh that's what that's what telling you and um if i do the volume on let me see if i can do that setting show price volume distribution so volume chart where is the volume chart why oh i see it there it's already apply so previous close let me take this one out or let's leave it okay so so basically what it is the volume is not visible but this is the volume one so volume tells you how much you know trade has happened that day it's uh, not very clear if i do only for two days then probably it will be more visible let's do it for two days only now probably you can see it see in the volume you, it tells you, so you can see that from nine o'clock, how the day is going, how is the trading happening? And here it tells you, it tells you only volume. So it tells you that something happened in the evening because there is a huge uptick here in the green. So a uh, lot of trade happened. Whatever region, that tells you that at the end of the day, a lot of trade happened. Also, same thing here on this one here, a lot of trade happened at the end of the day. Compared to the average volume, probability is like, uh, uh, um, like you see here, it is like zero million, and this is two point five million. So I don't understand how can that be possible. Maybe let's see, is it cumulative? Maybe that's what it is. Let me see here. Right? Uh, okay. To me, it looks like it is cumulative. You know, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, the whole day, how much it is happening? Probably that's what it is. Number is not like at the instant. So if you add them together, probably this will come to that number. 
So you can you can see that there is some correlation with the this index VIX with the with the market, and there is also some correlation when people panic, then they do more trade, and that's why probably you see here there is more red and uh, lines there. So so that is uh, what I was going to show you is where do I find that? Okay, give me a second here. Let's another go to another place to show you what I'm trying to show you. So um, let's do this here. Uh, Google Finance. Okay, so you can check if you want to ch check the stock market of America, you can see it like so look at it how good it was like five six percent a lot of stocks have gone so here is i have created a watch list of the company which i watch generally so okay so here it is and looks like a good day i once in a while i just look at it and see what's going on but let me tell you what i wanted to show you where is that i hope i have it here yes okay so I was telling you that there is ETF for different thing. So this is, uh, there is a company, I don't know who is that uh, at this point, but they have all the different industry has been divided in different sectors and they have created a symbol for each of them. So for example, XLB is the material sector. So all the material related companies, they are part of this. Okay, so so that's so it is a materials company is this one. So like for example, all the gold, silver, platinum related companies they will be here. Okay, uh, XLE this is energy company. So like Exxon Mobil, um, uh, all those uh, all those. Uh, uh, energy and gas companies are part of this somebody is calling me from uh, company, from company like divided company. i like his worker company. No, it's, no it's not urgent i saw that so but i like financial sector yeah so i'll, I'll continue with that one uh, discussion which i'm trying to do for you here yeah. so so this is energy sector this is the financial sector so if you don't want to buy individual banks, all you need to do is buy this XLF and then all the financials will be uh, are part of that one. Industrial, I was telling you earlier about that one, that this is all the companies like Caterpillar, all uh, industrial, uh, those who make machines type of companies, they will be like Tata's of India will be in this one. Right? Like manufacturing, Tata. manufacturing company. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or related to all kinds, uh, like even if there's design or manufacturing or whatever service, they all will be part of that. And this is the technology company. And then technology company means uh, like, uh, you know, all the technology like Google, IBM, Microsoft, those type of company, you'll be in this part of this one. All software and, company. Uh, not software, software, hardware, all. Technology. Yes, yes. Like yes, who yes, are doing yes, the yes. latest technology development. They're, you know, they are not simply like a good old technology, but the new development is happening. So that's why it will be like uh, Facebook, uh, Microsoft, Google, those kind of people will be in, in this one technology company. Utilities, this will be like power sector, like for example, all the power, power related companies uh, who, who do who, uh, manufacture. So they will be here. So you see that? Utilities companies are different from the energy company. Energy company is mainly like oil, gas, those kind of people. And utility is like those who generate electricity uh, by um, coal energy or from the uh, re, uh, what you call renewable energy or uh, solar energy. They all will be part of this one. Then is the healthcare is a separate uh, group. So all the health insurance health related companies, hospital companies, they will be part of that. So like that, uh, there are, what is this one here, um, XRT, this is like real estate, like housing is an industry here. It, it, unlike India, where we all build our own house here, nobody builds home. It is the factory who build the home here. <laughs> if you start, 
if you plan to buy, if you plan to build your own home, oh my gosh, you will go through a lot of travel. <laughs> and so nobody does it. So, so this is the real estate companies related. So, so all the industries have been categorized. I think I'm still missing one or two. Let's see how many we have. I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there are I think nine or ten. So, so basically, uh, if if I want to see that uh, kind of sector wise how things are happening, break it down. Then it is here, and then it is like in this. This is like by one company, one financial company who has created this. And let's see here what is the name of this company. I'm curious if that one they have. So yeah, uh, where is that one? Uh, state security. What is this? ETF. Let's see here. Does it say anything? Okay, it didn't say much. So okay. So now you got that one uh, about what is ETF. Uh, I was telling you about the uh, mutual funds, and uh, let's see here. Uh, if I go back to research, was it already I had it, or maybe? So let's see here. Uh, research, research, uh, news, and research. Okay. So uh, let's see here. Mutual funds. Uh, you guys heard of mutual funds, right? How do you invest in India, you guys? What do you do? Individual stock or mutual stock fund? Or? Sir, in India, no, there are so many, uh, at the age of 40, 45, they were invested in a mutual fund because they completely know that uh, it is uh, it is always a risk free. There are no certain risk will be taken in, in, that, in that fund. So they can, yeah. uh, without fear, they can invest in mutual fund. After some time, he getting high return uh, as as usual. If uh, if any bank will, uh, if any bank will will say, uh, yeah. If the okay. bank okay. in uh, if the bank interest rate is uh, a, 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 suppose eight uh, percent on fixed deposit, uh, so mutual fund gives eighteen percent on uh, SIP or a, or other things. Uh, I see. Okay, so so here we are in the American Mutual Fund Company list. So it's telling you here if you see key criteria, Fidelity is one of the big uh, kind of bank. So it's telling that Fidelity has all kind of mutual fund. Do you want to see Fidelity Mutual Fund, uh, or uh, or uh, or if you want to see some others, you can do that one uh, also uh, here. Then they are saying that since th this one is more of a uh, telling you that at least you need to invest 2.5K, $2,500 is the minimum. And management approach, there are all kind of management style they do. So depending on that is the fee. So all right, so let's see here. Uh, I wanted to show you some example of American mutual funds. Okay, so how do I go a little bit down? Okay. Okay. All expand all so that we can see here. Okay. So it's telling you that you can select the mutual fund based on allocation 15% to 30% equity. Means like a stock, this one. And 50 to 70% equity. So suppose. Uh, you know, somebody is in my my age group, like 60 plus. We don't want to take too much risk like you guys. You guys are young. So for me, I would select a mutual fund, maybe most likely in this area, 50 to 30% in the stock market. Rest will be like bond or fixed deposit. And I'll talk about bond and fixed deposit. It is a kind of guaranteed income in bond and fixed deposits, as you know. So bond is like anywhere from um, two to four, five percent. And right now, fixed deposit has become a little bit good in this country. That's also in the same range. 
So, sir, bond is not completely. Uh, as I know that, sir, bond is not completely risk free. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. No, there is nothing risk free, hundred percent, right? So, uh, uh, let let's go through this one here. So, this tells you the different categories you can select, and so suppose based on how much you, what percentage of your portfolio or uh, which um, mutual fund you are buying is exposed to a stock, this tells you that one here. So that would be the one criteria. And uh, and then you can also um, select if you want like more into the like global, like China or United, uh, what you call it, Europe and those kind of, uh, or Far East. Uh, so then you go here in this kind of thing. And, this is tactical, so all, all, all those kind of things are there. Let's see, for example, just for a safe side, I'm going to open this one and see what it is. I haven't bought in a long time, so I don't know. Okay, uh, all right, so there is one more thing I wanted to show you. Suppose they have come up with this here also, like, you know, there are a lot of people who don't want to deal with, uh, uh, this 15% or 30% equity, but they know that when they are going to retire, right? So based on then when they are going to retire, automatically you can pick a date. Like for example, anybody, you guys want to retire any year you have here up to they give you target at about 2055. <laughs> pick, pick somebody who think is going to retire in any of the year. Of, of course, um, I am retired already, so I cannot pick a new date. <laughs> Say, for example, uh, uh, this is this is that somebody uh, had done like in in the past. They could have picked like two zero one five, two zero two two, or two zero two five. If they had picked that one, you know what would happen? That almost eighty percent of that would be either in the bond or fixed deposit. Only very little percent, like 15% or less, would be uh, exposed to a stock because the stock is very fluctuating. So as so as you grow, you see here, this is for you guys here. Up to they have they have for I think I'm sure they have for all, all the way to, to 265 target retirement. So somebody, you know, 65 who is born today. If you have any children or grandchildren, if you want to start a retirement fund. For them, you can do it also for them. So you simply blindly, you pick a year from here and then you can buy that fund. Say, let's say for example, uh, I'm picking a 235, maybe 240. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's telling me that there are 89 funds in that area. All right, let's see what they have. Now you see here, now it tells you these are the different funds and it is open to all of you You guys can fidelity.com you can if you want to learn about the stock market there is so much free education here so uh if you want to learn you can learn from here and now here it tells you all the all the things and um, it is uh, it is it is giving the list and uh, how you read it here is this is the name of course this is fidelity company wise and then there are some other mix they retarget and then it tells you how is the return on this one this funds have so one year is doing bad all of them uh, uh, yeah, they have lost money but if you look at the three years not bad three years return is seven percent eight percent so that's pretty good uh, five years is almost six percent. 10 years is almost 8%, not bad. So it, it is doing pretty well. I mean, you know, uh, in, in, uh, in America, if you get uh, six, seven or two, 10% range of uh, profit in the stock market, we are all happy. <laughs> because only the top level professionals can do better than that, okay? So here is the mutual fund for that. Uh, so that's how you go and pick the mutual fund, um, whatever you have interest. Similarly, you criteria wise, again, you can go back here and I think we can just change it, whatever different types we want. Uh, let us say, for example, 
uh, where uh, it's asking all asset category, expand it one more time. Uh, management approach, active index. Okay, let's see what is active. It must be a lot of fee in this one. I want to just see it. So I think this is the same one. 83, oh, index active is 83. All is how many? There are a bunch of those. So let's do here. So index fund is like simply they go and buy NASDAQ or um, uh, Dow Jones, those kind of things. Let's see here what we have active. Oh, okay, active has all the target and it. Okay. So pretty much uh, that's what is your, uh, your, uh, how you select it. The other, other way is that uh, you can select your, let's see here. Uh, if you want to select your yourself, you can just do the individual stock like I was showing you. That's another way to do it. So here you go. We talked about the stock market today. I give... Okay. Okay, Amjaji. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you.